Hurricane Agatha is weakening as it moves inland from Mexico's southern coast. The storm made landfall yesterday afternoon, though, as a Category 2 hurricane with wind gusts over 100 miles per hour. It was downgraded last night to a tropical storm, but still has a lot of wind and a lot of rain. It is one of the earliest and strongest hurricanes to ever strike North America from the Pacific Ocean in May. And this morning we were talking with Rich Mary Christopher and he was talking about the evidence that it might might start something in the Atlantic which could pummel Mexico or the Gulf of Mexico there from from that ocean. Yeah, you and Rich hit the nail on the head. If you do have any travel plans to Florida or the Caribbean, you just want to keep an eye on this system. It is currently working its way across Mexico and southern parts of Mexico have uh, really high terrain. The mountains have really ripped apart this system, so it is now a remnant system. Agatha still has winds of 30 miles per hour, but it's expected to reemerge over the south Western Gulf of Mexico or Western Caribbean over the next 24 to 36 hours. And we have a lot of warm water there, and the system is expected to re-intensify, possibly becoming Tropical Storm Alex as it works its way over the Atlantic, and it has its eyes set on Florida late this week into the weekend. Not expected to become a hurricane, but there could be some tropical impacts for Florida, so just keep that in mind if you do have any travel plans or any family in that area. Our water's a lot different story. Look at this blue skies. Live look at Long Beach. It would be an absolutely stunning day to get out on the beach. Temperature is going to climb into the 60s, well into the 60s for the beaches. Even the mountains getting in on the sunshine as well as the mild temperatures. You can see the snow melt there at the Visitor Center at Paradise with those temperatures climbing into the 50s for the mountains today. Sunshine has allowed temperatures to warm up 5 to almost 10 degrees warmer right now compared to this time yesterday. And if you like this warming trend, you're going to like the forecast over the next few days. 61 in Seattle. Live look over downtown sunny skies. A few high level clouds, but those will continue to uh, filter out of the area over the next few hours. Beautiful temperatures area wide. 64 in Olympia, 64 in Chehala, 64 in Puyallup, 59 in Everett, 54 in Oak Harbor. A really nice afternoon and our temperatures are going to climb for many areas areas into the 70s for central and southern parts of Puget Sound and the Kitsap Peninsula 74 in Shelton 74 in Chehala 70 in Seattle 66 in Everett Hoquiam 67 degrees is that forecast high with these warmer temperatures there's also some spring like thunderstorms we have to keep an eye on as well for central and northern parts of the Cascades this afternoon. So if you do have any hiking plans, you just want to keep in mind there's that possibility of some isolated storms. When you get those temperatures starting to warm up, you get this really strong late May heating and you have that air that rushes up the western and eastern slopes of the Cascades. It converges at the crest and you get those thunderstorms to pop. And that's what we're going to see this afternoon, especially between 3 to 7 p.m. That's that best opportunity for some isolated storms, some gusty winds, hell and cloud ground lightning are those major Main concerns with the storms this afternoon. If you do go hiking and if you hear thunder or you see lightning, you just want to make sure that you move indoors. Taking a look at future radar, it does indicate the isolated storms for central and northern parts of the Cascades later this afternoon around 3 p.m. We get that heating, those storms pop, and again, lightning is the main concern that we're focused on. And this continues into latter parts of the afternoon around 5 p.m. But it doesn't look like this activity is going to drift into the lowlands. So that's something that is uh, the good news with these storms. Tomorrow, that could be a little bit of a different case, but I think those will be uh, confined to the foothills as well as the uh, the higher terrain of the Cascades. And by the uh, evening hours, we lose that daytime heating and these showers really start to fizzle out and it's going to be a dry evening for pretty much the entire area. So if you have any plans, it's going to be a good night to go take the dog on a walk, go on a run, grill out, whatever you got to do. We're going to see a really nice evening and an even better tomorrow. Temperatures are going to climb well into the 70s, 75 degrees here in Seattle. And if this happens, this will be the warmest day thus far for 2022. And some areas are going to flirt with 80 degrees. Chehalis, Puyallup, Renton could flirt with 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Our friends east of the Cascades going to see those temperatures for sure hit the 80s tomorrow afternoon. We have another day of warm temperatures on Thursday, 75, 69 on Friday. Another system moves in, increasing those rain chances. But folks, this is the best seven day forecast we've had for the entire year. Again, temperatures come down toward the weekend, but it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, over the next several days, Steve.